And in there, therefore, we continue to talk about our services economy. The services exports continue to be the bedrock of what is keeping a good cushion to our current account deficits, as, 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 as Madam Anuradha, you would know it very well, including, including keeping our fiscal deficit under control, including keeping INR in, in, in good check against, against, uh, against USD. Um, this industry contributed about $390 billion uh, and grew about 13.6% year over year. Ma'am Vandana, you talked about the participation of labor force. Here are the numbers. The labor force participation in the country um, is at 59.6%. The female labor force participation is at 42%. It has grown dramatically from what it was 23% in 2017, 2018. Having said this, a significant portion of that growth actually has come from rural part of the country. There is much more that needs to happen in the urban part of the countries. There is much more that the GCCs have to do. And there is much more that the states and the governments in the states have to do to create an infrastructure and to create an environment where females can participate through the life cycle, of, uh, life cycle changes that they go through um, in supporting the families. India's favorable demographic dividend, you talked about it, um, Ma'am Vandana, but um, it's worth highlighting that um, India is the highest producer of, of women STEM graduates in the world. And the investments in AI infrastructure. Look, uh, when we talk about AI we, in the world, we are talking a lot about, about the US and China. They are significantly ahead in terms of the AI infrastructure and the development la of large language models and whatever comes along. I want to submit to you that India is the third most important pillar in that stool, in that table. There is no other country that will contribute uh, as much in leveraging AI and in deploying AI at scale to the enterprises as India would. You talked about, um, uh, Mr. Singh, about, uh, about technology. Absolutely. The GCCs that are uh, around engineering R&D have the highest uh, contribution to India's exchequer. The per employee revenue um, that, that gets added um, uh, and, and, the, and, the, um, and the scale is, at about, is, is significantly higher than the traditional um, business process outsourcing roles. 17 fold is the number of the number of uh, patents that have increased in the last If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.